Thank you, everyone, for your questions. And um, they're just of such service when we ask a question and it just sort of opens things up, like hearing each of your questions as relating completely and directly in my own experience. And, and, um, and I'm sure it's the same for you as well. When we just, the power of our speech and the power of our sharing of experience is so incredible. And, um, and really, the, the purpose of Balanced View is for anybody who's open to it to be educated and supported to really see how powerful we are as human beings and how we have this incredible capacity to be of benefit to ourselves and everybody in every moment of life. And that everything that we experience in life is the part of the flow of this incredible benefit. So, and we do this through a simple um, education, understanding of our reality, through the recognition of open intelligence. And we can recognize it right now for ourselves in the quickest and most direct way is to simply stop thinking for a moment and just notice this alertness, a brightness, a cognizance. And then thoughts come back in and that the alertness and cognizance is still there. Inseparable from the thoughts, inseparable from everything we experience. And all the experiences we just term as data. So open intelligence and data, inseparable, like the color blue in the sky. And what I've seen in my experience from taking the support of Balanced View and becoming acquainted with open intelligence in the midst of all the flow, the flow of all data, that I am just naturally stable, well, able to respond. Um, I have, I've, I've loved throughout my life um, my favourite thing was the, the sense of ease and connectedness with people. That was something that I was like, that's what I want, you know? Like in my life. So I'd seek out situations okay. and create situations where that could be possible. And they were often in social situations where it felt relaxed and everybody was at ease and was like, oh, this is it. So like festivals, it's like, yeah, this is the connected ease that I've been looking for. So I'm going to go and do more of this. And what I've found through relying on open intelligence is that connected ease is what we are, is always there. And that really I just learned that certain appearances, certain data streams, certain descriptions meant that that wasn't present. But relaxing for short moments, relying on open intelligence, starting to see that ease and connectedness an understanding is present in every appearance. And so it really changes things <laughs> on a very fundamental level because now my life isn't about trying to cultivate certain circumstances or connect up with the right people to get the right data sets. And, um, but it's really a spontaneous letting everything be as it is and seeing from there how do I want to contribute and live. And also seeing really how, how powerful I am and how powerful everybody is. No matter what's going on for them, no matter if they're sitting on Turbo Island or sitting in this room or sitting in the Houses of Parliament, people are powerful, incredibly powerful. With our mind, speech, body, whatever we can do so much and we do do so much. And so with Balanced View, with, the, with open intelligence, I see I have a choice in every single moment. Do I go into describing my experience and emphasizing all the data streams and collapsing into them and trying to understand my experience through descriptions and through analysis and through the, that use of my mind, or do I rest as open intelligence and feel everything fully? And finding in there, there's a new way to be informed, a new way to understand myself and others. 
which is just so um, normalizing and hum humanizing, authentic. And this is really what I see I've gained from this education that everybody has the opportunity to know. And so things like things that I really didn't want to experience in my life, like heartbreak, or for anybody else to experience that. Like, that's the, you know, in times I did experience it, it was just so painful and, wow, the, how limiting it felt to feel that heart broken. And all of the stories that come with it, like who's to blame and how can it not happen again and how can I prevent this feeling? Like, this is just not a feeling I should be having. This means something is wrong. And then having the courage and the support to let the feeling of heartbreak be as it is. Feeling it completely. And what is there? What happens? Total and utter heart connection with the whole of humanity, like everybody feels this. And stable in open intelligence, we can let ourselves feel it completely. And for myself, I've just seen magically revealing is benefit, benefit and wisdom, fundamental wisdom. That before, when I tried to keep it away and run away from it or change it or mute it down, I just didn't feel, get to know that. So it's an immense gift. And suddenly, heartbreak, inseparable from total gratitude, like, wow. I never knew that was possible. Thankful for the experience, thankful for every experience that I can possibly have <coughs> because it is opening me up to reality as it is. And that's what we give ourselves through the Four Mainstays and the Four Mainstays are the support system of Balanced View and they are the, the teaching, you know, short moments of open intelligence which is simply acknowledging right now, as it is, everything that's arising, letting it be as it is. It's the training media, which is a wealth of media available on the website for free that anybody can go to and download or watch, and will only elicit and evoke the recognition of open intelligence for ourselves. Once we've completed the 12 empowerments, we, we can be in touch with the trainer directly for ourselves. But otherwise, we can come to open meetings, join clarity calls online. And there's somebody there who has complete commitment to open intelligence and only wishes <coughs> to support anybody in that recognition for themselves. And then there's a community. Thousands of people all over the world deciding to live their life relying on open intelligence. And so it's just a incredibly generous offering and available to anybody anywhere. And really allowing us, like we said in the talk as well, just to get totally real in our experience, like what is going on? Really not depending on all of the descriptions and labels that we've taken ourselves to be, but what is really happening? fresh and direct in the here and now, what is happening. And um, it just opens up so many possibilities. I just see when I first came to the training, I didn't want to change. I was like, oh, that's, everything's so good. I'm happy and great friends and everything's wonderful. And, um, and then but there was, what drew me was just something hearing about open intelligence, hearing about this opportunity to let everything be as it is, and also an instinctive recognition of ease, something, like an openness. And so I just kept listening to talks and, being like, and then starting to just see in my experience, like to trying out short moments, going into situations where I just felt extreme anxiety, and going, oh, yeah, I'll take a short moment, <laughs> letting the anxiety be as it is and seeing for myself what happened. So I'd just invite anybody to try that out, simply letting whatever is occurring, whatever is arising, <coughs> be as it is and see. And then just see how naturally I, the harmonization takes place in 
in everyday life, like the ease and connectedness and sense of that understanding that I always wanted to have with other people. And then having my trainer to be in touch with about any relationships where I feel like it's not clear, like somebody that's going to completely support me to rely on open intelligence and see for myself how I can harmonize relationships. And, um, and the, that's just an invaluable support that, yeah, can completely take advantage of. Resting with the data and the sensations that come up about wanting people to like me is really empowering because that those ideas kept me so small for so long, like fearing to speak up, not wanting to be disliked, so holding back in life. Just so, and then when you start to see it, and when you start to see you can let it be as it is and still speak up and still be you completely in the world, that is pure empowerment. And people see that. And the example is not just seen, but felt as well.